Today at Coyote Classics, we're checking out a beautiful 1968 Chevelle Super Sport convertible. Wow, no clone here, Dalton. Yeah, nice thing about 68s, easy to tell whether you got a real or a tribute it's a Super Sport, this is the real deal. Beautiful color. Man, what do you think of the front end here, huh? Beautiful, chrome shines, gorgeous. Just a really, really sharp car. Yeah, it sure is. Absolutely stunning. I love the color, done its original color, I'm pretty sure, right? And the nice thing with this one is this is an older restoration and it's still show quality. Do you know how long, uh, how long ago it's been restored? I think Rod told me somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 years, 15, 20 years. Wow, it looks like it was almost done yesterday, doesn't yeah, it? Does. I do see we have one little touch up right here, very small. Wow, Especially look at that. Hood, yeah. 396, it's got uh, power brakes, power steering. Just a beautifully detailed engine compartment. They put all the stickers in the right place. And this is one of those restorations where, I mean, they did everything correct. Um, even the Del yeah, Delco battery cover, all the stickers on the radiator support, right stickers on the valve cover. It's got the right air cleaner on it. Um, it does have kind of a date code correct too. It's not a numbers matching motor, but it is an ED code. Um, like you said, it's got the GM uh, hoses for the fuel pump. Even the Everything, yeah, aren't even, they? Even the GM uh, exhaust manifolds. The correct all. clamps back mm -hmm. there. Yeah. How about the paint quality done underneath the hood here? Isn't that nuts? Yeah, it's nice. My favorite look is like right there with a Chevelle emblem with the blue behind it. Stock manifold, I like that they didn't go ahead and put headers on it. Wiper motor looks new. I mean, the whole car has just been completely restored to a very high standard <laughs> back in the day. Way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. As we look up and down the sides, the body and paint is laser straight. Nice rally wheels. Um, if a guy wants to change the look of this, you could put yourself a nice set of 17s or something. I mean, just give the whole car a different look. But I love what the restorer did to this one. He left it all pretty much bone stock. 215, 65, 15s on here. And those raised white letters and tires look great. The bright work on all the chrome and stainless emblems, wheel well trim, everything is in fantastic shape. Um, a couple different things here, just from the older paint, it has some little tiny little solvent pop just in this corner. And both corners of the hood stick up just a little bit, probably because of the hinge there. And that's the trade-off when you have a older restoration, it's awesome because you can really see, you know, how it held up. Um, and when it looks like this after 20 years, you know, they did a really good job with it. But you will see some little chips and little minor things just from age. But. Yeah, the fit and finish of this door is awesome. The bottom of the fender and door and rocker all line up great. And the base coat clear coat along the bottom looks fantastic. Um, worst part about the whole entire car, and this again is just from age, it's just got just a little bit, it's got a couple bubbles right here and one right there. If you look right up on top of it, um, trunk lid fits great. And just look at how nice it looks down the sides. And again, the color is just awesome. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you'll see just how solid this real deal Super Sport is. We got about 15 to 25 photographs of the undercarriage as well. All of the chrome, trim, tail light, bezels, all that stuff are brand new. Nice dual exhaust comes out the back. No surprise under here. Look at the quality. Nice. Nice. Just as nice as the rest of the car. All the correct stickers. As we come up here under this lip, so many times these Chevelles and Mustangs and stuff are just packed with body filler. This one's rust free. It's got the correct uh, BFG matching uh, spare jack all that's there a little speckling in the trunk as well it's got a new boot sharp yeah i, I kind of like the stance on it. it's a little different it's like how they would sit from the factory exactly the boot fits so nice as well the top sits down in there very nice sometimes you know the commercial tops seem like they just want to stick up a little bit here's the tall tail uh, sign of the restoration right here look at this how they did the restoration and the factory lines like it should be. Yeah, 
They did it all the way. The top of the rockers are gloss black, gorgeous. Nice brake line there in the paint. All the correct GM decal stickers. Door panels are beautiful. Armrest, base, pad. Chrome is crystal clear, very nice original here as well. Rubbers look good on the wing windows. Every panel is obviously taken off, all painted separately, bolted back on. They even went ahead and did that on the inside of the door, back side of the fender. I mean, it was a concourse restoration is how I would classify this years ago. Yep. Uh, steering wheels in great shape. Got just a little bit of the black is just lightly touched off right there. Got the console in great shape with the correct seal still all in there. Looks like an AM FM updated uh, digital radio. Does This did not come equipped with the factory clock. No, that was an option. I'm sorry, the factory tack, that was an option. Paint on the dash is beautiful. The whole interior is just fantastic. Seat, GM seat belts in the back for three. Uh, all the interior lights work as well. I'm going to go ahead and take the boot off that other side, D, as I go on this side. And then we can uh, put the top up and get ready to drive this beauty. Again, as we get on the passenger side, gorgeous all the way along. Quarters, everything's perfect in here. Nice and smooth. Inside corner of the door lines up nice. as well. Um, chrome around the top. Looks like that's all been redone as well. Seems like it's going up nice and smooth. You can tell the top is new. Does have a glass back window, so that's nice. We'll go ahead and finish getting this top up, and then we'll go ahead and roll the windows up, and uh, we'll take this uh, beauty for a spin. All right, now we're behind the wheel of the 68. I'm excited to see how this one drives. Yeah, I am too. I mean, it's just phenomenal condition. Look at the clarity and stuff of the dash. Heater fan, so quiet, nice. Um, digital retro sound radio, looks great in there. Still has a little plastic over it, looks like. Mm -hmm. Tire pressure sticker From your in there. Yeah, nice, nice rate speakers, aren't they? I mean, it's got a good sound to it. And when they did the dash, I mean, they did all the bezels, they did all the, you know, the lighter, everything's new on it. We run them through and we check them in and Mike, you know, our, our tech that checked this one in, he's like, damn, this one was so easy. You know, I put a, put a new battery in it. That's all it really. Isn't that great? Yeah. Um, they even did all the new rubbers and, and stuff in the console and the console light works. It's just an awesome, awesome real deal car. You can just tell by just sitting in it, the seats are comfortable. You know, it's going to be a fast, tight car. Mm -hmm. And how, you know, and it, it just runs so smooth. You start it up. And it, for a big block, it idles really nice. It sounds good. Just a classy, Somebody put a well -put ton, a ton car. of money on making this a concourse restoration, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Brakes are fantastic. No pull left or right. And we got a heck of a pedal. Yeah, you do. But it's nice and easy. I mean, that was all the way to the floor. So you mm -hmm. can just, uh, it's not stiff by any means. Even through the windshield, it's just, everything's just crystal clear. It's a nice windshield. Picks right up to speed, 65 mile an hour right there. Steering wheel's perfectly straight as we go down the road, 65. No hands on the wheel. Still, look at that. this, 75. 80, now we'll drive it a little. Now she's getting excited, she's getting warmed up a little bit. 
And for a convertible, the wind noise is very minute. Yeah, I almost forgot we were in a convertible. I know, I did too. <laughs> I did too. Usually you can hear that wind whistling in these, but that seals up nice. Yeah, that's a fantastic car. Just uh, what we like to say, it's a car you don't have to make any excuses for. Yeah, let's turn it around. It's just getting kind of warmed up a little bit. Um, I feel it's probably good enough now to just check it from kind of a dead stop once. Yeah. The choke might not, still not all the way off, but we'll see. Another thing kind of to point out, Dalton, it idles down so nice, doesn't it? As we just come around this corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's not at a high idle. Yeah, just smooth. There's no vibrations or rattles. The drivetrain, just no a good car. No power steering squeak. Yeah, this just is one that nothing. you want to jump in it and drive it 300 miles, you know, one weekend you could do. Spinning the tires. That was the whole time. It is posy too. There's two black marks that whole time. You didn't hear it, but it was spinning. Yeah. That's awesome. You know, that jumps right up to 80 mile an hour. Speedometer bounces over 80 a little bit. Yeah. And keep in mind too, guys, you know, we're driving them at 15, 20 degrees. So, you know, <laughs> and they're they're performing really well. So imagine when, it, when it's got nice hot air running through it. Look those other road What a car. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Um, links down in the comment section of the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.